everyone, we're back now to look at the next step that you are going to have to complete for your comprehensive problem, and that is the trial balance. So whenever we start and we look at a um, header for any of our statements, so this particular company is sewn for you, and the statement is trial balance, and the balances that we're going to be looking at here are the balances as of January 31st, and they are before we do any adjusting entries. So they are just going to include the entries that we have completed for this time period. So what we would do is we would um, start our trial balance. Um, your trial balance is going to have um, a couple of things. It's going to have the name of the account. It is going to have a column for a debit and it's going to have a column for a credits. And so what we have to use here um, is going to be our um, general ledger that we just got through looking at. And so what we would do is we would go through our general ledger. Um, so in this particular case, we see cash is our first account that we have, and we would do them in um, account number order to keep everything where we need it. So we would have um, cash as our account, and we would get our balance, which is 17980 when we begin a column in a statement, we always want to start that with a dollar sign. So we would have a dollar sign in front of the 17980. The next account that we get to is our um, accounts receivable. And so when looking at our accounts receivable, we see that it is at $45. So we will list out our accounts receivable and we would have the $45. Uh, the next one that we see as our supplies account, so we would have supplies, and that is at $500, and we're looking at these balances over here, so we see $500. Um, then we have our prepaid rent um, is our next account, so we would list out our prepaid rent and that is at $22.50. And then we get to the um, next page of our stuff and we have equipment. And so we would list out our equipment and that balance is at $1,500. have any accumulated depreciation, but we do have accounts payable. Um, so we would list out our accounts payable. Now accounts payable, this is the first amount that we see that has a credit balance. So we're going to come over to our credit column. We will put in a dollar sign and we will put the um, $125 in there because um, all of our stuff needs to um, have that uh, dollar sign when we start um, an amount. Next one we have is note payable. So we list our note payable out and our note payable amount is a credit of $1,300. And then we have unearned fees um, is another amount that we see here. So we would list unearned fees and that amount is going to be 500 on the credit side. The uh, next amount that we are going to look at here um, is going to be our capital. And again, that is a credit of 20,000. So we would write capital. And we would have a credit of $20,000. Uh, the next one we see is fees earned. So we would write fees earned. And in looking at the fees earned, we notice it is a credit of 225. So we would list this down at 225. And the last account that we have um, here um, is the utility expense account. And so we see utility expense has a debit balance of 125. So we would put utility expense. And 
and that would be in the debit column for $125. So now we have um, everything um, listed that was on our general ledger. Um, the last part of this is we do need to have our totals. And the reason that we need to have our totals is we need to make sure that we are in fact in balance here. Um, and so you would add up both sides of um, both sides of the move some stuff around so I can see what I'm doing so I can add these up. Um, so we would add both sides up. So we have 17, sorry, let's see. Um, we would have 17, uh, 980. We would then add 45 plus 500 plus 2250 plus 1500 plus 125. And that is going to give us a total of 22,400. Now I need to add the other side and make sure that these two numbers match. Um, if they match, that means that hopefully we've posted everything the way that we are supposed to. Um, if they do not match, it means that we need to go back and see where we've made our mistake. Um, and I am not matching so let me add these one more time and see kind of where maybe I maybe I typed something in wrong all right so I've got 22150 here let me try to add the other one up again So I am off um, somewhere. So let's see how much I'm off. I'm off by $250 somewhere. Um, so the first step that I need to look at is I need to, one, make sure that I've copied all of my numbers down um, off of the ledger correctly and that I have them in the correct place. It looks like what I have in the ledger is here. Um, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back and add um, these items, because I did them in my head and I didn't use a calculator. Um, so it's always a good idea to use a calculator to make sure that um, you're adding things correctly. And there it is. This should have been 250. So that's why we do this is to make sure that we have, um, in fact, I've done everything correctly. Um, so let's see, minus 200. That would be plus 180. Be seventeen two thirty. Thanks both of those. And plus five hundred equals seventeen seven thirty. And so then I'm going to move that seventeen seven thirty over here. And now let's add all these back up and see if we are in balance. Again, use a calculator when you are um, doing all of these. 
Um, so that would be 22,150. On this side, and as you can see, I had 22.50 on this side also. So I am now in balance. When I finish this out, I need a dollar sign on both sides, and I will also double underline it to let me know that I have, in fact, completed um, all of this process. I'm going to take it a little bit smaller so that you can see all of it. Um, and so what you see here is you see the header listed, you see the name, debit column, credit column, and your debit and your credit column should balance. If they do not balance, like was in my case, you have to go back through and figure out where you made your mistake. Um, and then once you figure that out to see whether or not, um, you know, you have posted stuff and added and subtracted things correctly, um, then um, that's kind of where where you're going to be and that's really why we do the trial balance is we want to make sure that you know we, we have everything it's not foolproof um, because if I missed a whole transaction I could still be in balance um, so um, hopefully you saw how I kind of looked at what the balance and what was off and then started kind of looking at seeing you know I didn't have anything for 250 um, so you know you can kind of look and see that way um, and figure out kind of where you are off but that is going to be that third step um, this is the step where that we do right before we get ready to do adjusting entries and we actually can use this trial balance to do our adjusting entries